Hi, I'm Artful Artsy Amy, and I'm going to show you really quick how you can use Bitmoji in Google Slides. You can use it also in other um, Google Suite tools, but this is just a little Bitmoji that I can click and drag around. So I'm going to show you exactly how you do that. The first thing is you want to go to Google and you want to search for the Bitmoji um, Chrome plugin. And so you just click right here. I can't add it because it's already there, but it would have a little option here where you can add it. And what it will do is it will add a little icon right there for you and you will just log in. So I've already done that, so it's already there. The next thing is, is that you want to create a slide deck. So here I am in my drive and I'm gonna create a new slide, Google slide deck. So you can use the Bitmojis in any slide deck. So let's just, um, let me just delete this stuff, show you a few things. So what I do is I click right here on the Bitmoji and it tells me I have to get started because I haven't logged in. So it wants me to log in. I already have an existing login, so I'm just gonna use that one. There I am. And so now if I go back to my presentation, I'm all logged in. If I click here again, I have to wait. It has all this cool stuff here. So maybe let's type in back to school. And then I have all these great options. Um, so I'm a sucker for fun little mushrooms. So I'm gonna pick this, I just click and drag it over. You might have to click and drag twice. I don't know why there's that glitch, but there is. I'm gonna stick that in there just like that. And now maybe I wanted to say something. So Google Slides has a really cool option where you can do callouts. So I'm just gonna choose a callout, click and drag. If I use this little gold diamond, I can move the direction. I can change the colors. I like to have it white. I just think it's easier to read. And then I can double check. Why don't we say, welcome back to school. And of course, I got to change my font because I got to be all fancy. I really love this Sniglet font. I don't know why I've been using it a lot, but that's fine. And center it there you go now let's say that this is great if you're going to have it up on your projector it's the perfect format but let's say you wanted to print this like maybe you're going to have a reading nook okay but you don't it's not going to print right on your paper right so there's a really cool option here in google slides so if you go to file you scroll all the way down here to page setup See where it says widescreen? I can choose custom. So I'm gonna say I want this to be 8.5 by 11 inches and apply. And now it's the right format. I can even, uh, let me zoom out. Oh, no, I'm good. Um, now it's the right format. I could also change it. So let's say I don't want it to be oriented up and down. I just go to file, page setup, and I would just go 11 by 8.5, apply. And there we go. Now I can kind of change it around so that it's gonna fit and print really, really well, all right? And so that's one really simple way that you can use Bitmoji in your classroom. Oh, I forgot one thing. Of course, you wanna give it your title, but you can um, download it as a PDF or as a PNG or a JPEG. Those are all files that make it really easy to print. You can print directly from here as well. So it's just whichever option you choose. And that's all there is to using Bitmojis or getting started with Bitmojis in Google Slides.